Good morning, Minxy ladies. Um, well, we are a little bit embarrassed that our winter clothing, uh, our full winter collection hasn't arrived yet. And because you embrace the trench sale so well in these sort of liquid leathery looks, we thought we'd offer you just another little something. But we've only got really limited numbers of the uh, of what I'm wearing, which is the French um, sole A line. So uh, we didn't like when we put this together and designed it last winter. We kind of thought, ah, oh, is it like a jacket or is it a shirt or is it could be both? Um, so it kind of is both. I'm wearing it sort of like a uh, like an overshirt, um, just with the racer leggings. Mm. which are due back, they're due in probably in a few a couple of weeks time. Um, so these are that nice like really high waisted lovely cotton soft um, elastine uh, leggings sort of underneath um, the French sole A-line. So let me tell you about the jacket that's on special. It's on special. Um, like I said we feel really guilty about the delays with our, um, our winter product so we thought we'd throw you another little bit of a bargain. Um, so it was two seven nine two seven nine down to one nine nine. So eighty dollars savings, which is pretty good. Um, so let's have a little look at it. It's got um, you can actually wear it like a shirt, um, cuffed up. So it's got the little button there to cuff in. Uh, I prefer, however, to wear it kind of folded back with a little bit more attitude. Actually, I should have put my leather wrap bracelet on. I think that would have added that little bit of edge. So I've actually just got like another little white um, shirt on underneath, a um, little bit like our um, uh, chiffon essential shirt, just a little kind of lighter layer. I've got that poking out, but you could actually have that tucked in and tucked away um, just to have the collar doing its workings, or you could open this out a little bit more. Uh, so it's got like the placard is covering the buttons underneath, so it does fully button through. Um, and then you've got that, that uh, placard covering it, giving it a nice simple neat line and through the front there. Uh, and it's got that sort of um, high-low situation, so low at the front, mm -hmm. no high at the front, what am I saying, high mm -hmm. at the front, and low at the back. The uh, and then at the back there is a, um, is a lovely little um, box pleat. Um, just to create a little bit of interest in, the, in through that back there. So, uh, in pockets on the side, of course. You of can course. Do that kind of relaxed, yeah, I own this, I own this kind of thing, a business. Um, so, I thought, okay, seeing as I've got my white shirt on underneath, let's follow through that look uh, with the monochrome. And I think it's sort of really great. Oh, it's coming back. We're oh, back. back. <laughs> We're back. Sorry, guys. We're Flip, back. Just changed to Wi Fi. Oh, yeah, I know. See, we've got no internet. Any internet providers out there that um, can get internet to Whitford. So every time I go home, I have to switch my um, my mode around to data. Anyway, anyway, I'm sorry about that. So, yeah, I was just saying that um, I've given you two kind of options to style back in terms of shoes with this outfit. Uh, one is probably like my go to favourite monochromatic look, which is that. Uh, full front zipper there. Uh, now you ladies know I've got do have that sort of chunkier leg, so I like to style the zipper a little bit more open. Uh, but you can, this is actually stretched, so you can actually fully zipper that all the way up. Um, I've got a 36 on. I'm usually a 37. The reason I've got the 36 is because we've sold out of the 37. Um, but that is actually, you know, it's a lovely, lovely fit on. It's got that lovely grungy, teethy looking sole on it. Um, it's a three part sole, so you've got this beautiful heavy lugs on the outside, um, a nice um, midsole through here, and then a rounded um, lip around the around the front of the uh, front around the front of the sole like that. And you've got this lovely sheep napper coming in through here, which is nice and stretchy, and your monochrome uh, zip, your white zip with the black detailing coming up the front. I just think it kind of is that sort of grungy like. I own this look, uh, feeling confident, and not only that, it's jolly comfortable, it's pretty cool. So uh, that style is called Tonic, T-O-N-I-C, you can have it with a gin and you'd be super happy. Um, this is the other style here, which is uh, Modell, so I thought I'd give you kind of like a bit of a sports luxe alternative. Um, Modell is, has been and is a really popular style for us, slightly sort of more squared off toe, finer toe shape, if I give you a look at the two toes. It's a finer toe shape, but still gives you elevation. Uh, so you've got the EVA flat form coming through here that's layered. Um, a little bit of a teethy grit on the bottom there. You've got the lovely little black and white uh, webbing in through the back and that really soft padding around the heel area. Um, nice flat wax lace. Of course, you can change the laces out now, ladies. 
Um, I don't know if you saw Ella's post the other day. She profiled actually this little style here and did like a bit of a, um, a little gift showing you how to lace it up with a new uh, colorway and it just changes the look and attitude completely. So we do have some black and white alternatives actually to relace into the shoe. You could do like, there's a, uh, there's a black one with a little fine white spot. That would be super cute on the model in the, in the black uh, milled leather. Uh, so yeah, just speaking of other color options in the model, You've got the lilac, which is just adorable. Uh, you've got the white milled, which is its second year. Um, this is really kind of probably that high-end sports luxe look. Very, very cool style. Like I say, you can sub out these laces for a little bit of a pattern if you wish. Um, if you're spotty dotty and want, if you're confident and you want to just pop a bit of attitude, this is such a fun way to do that. These look great paired back with denims and of course your black and things as well. So those are the four colour options in style model. Now we've got um, Nay waiting in the wings. We'll just roll out Renee. So we just thought, okay, let's give you another alternative for this um, French Soul A-line, which we just saying is on special because we feel so mm -hmm. bad our winter's so late and coming. Um, so she's done the corporate look because a lot of you ladies have or are heading back into the work environment mm -hmm. and you're kind of wanting to pep up your height, pep up your style. So we've given you a very office look which we look at each other and go, wow, wow. is that really <laughs> Renee? Is that really Renee under that look? <laughs> so, I know. Um, but it is, it's cool, it's cool. So she's got a couple of little winter treats on. Um, these are the pants which are called the linear pant. Um, the cool thing about these trousers is the linear vibe and feel it gives you. So a lot of people look at this and go, oh, look, there's a line across there. It kind of breaks the leg in two. Actually, it's quite the opposite. It draws your line in through here to look down into the middle of the leg. So if you're a little bit like me, and they won't mind me saying, she also a similar sort of shape, where we tend to carry a little bit of paunchiness mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. in through our, like our little saddlebag mm -hmm. area. And so what this is actually doing, it's totally minimizing that on Renee and giving her a nice slim look straight down the front of the leg there, which is, it's working, it's designed to do that. Um, it's got a nice, um, easy fit in through the leg. If we turn the side onto the ladies, you can see the actual shape there in through the leg is quite straight and um, sort of semi fit I think you've rubbed up. Oh yes, yeah, sorry, yeah, I did there. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, uh, we have got a couple of shoe, corporate shoe options for you. I'm just going to tweak the leg there. Um, this is style Tell Me. Tell me. Thank you, nearly forgot. Uh, after Lisa, who's no longer with us, her last name, um, this was her little style that she loved. So you've got a lovely soft napper in through here. Quite high cut, remembering Nay does actually have quite a high arch and she's into that with no problem. Um, slight little cleat in through, the, um, in through the front of the sole here. This is a lovely cafe brown, just to throw, um, just to give you that contrast between black. You've got a little wooden, um, wooden polished heel on that. And if I just get Renee to show you the inside of the shoe, because you know, I bet you're going, how do you get into that? There's a little cool little zipper on the inside here. So you simply unzip that, whip your foot in, zip it up, and you're locked in there um, into that court shoe. Hard to get the fit on these shoes really, really accurate. And I think this is a really, um, we've done a great job on this. We'll just get you to point the toe at the camera there, just to show that it is a lovely fine point on that as well. Uh, and so let's talk about size for the Tell Me um, court shoe. So Renee is normally a 41. And what size are you in? And you're in a 41 in that. And remembering that's also uh, accommodated her high in step and mm -hmm. arch there, which is really good. Really good to yeah. know. And we've got some of we've got a couple of sizes left in these and in a bone, in the beautiful bone, which I should have grabbed, but um Oh yeah, Annie, that's okay. No, Annie's gonna, gonna run out bone, and grab you the bone lady, which, so you can see the yeah. alternative colourway, which is really on trend. Very on trend. Um, very, very on trend. Okay, so um that's one look and then oh my god, I'm crushing on this look. I absolutely adore this. This kind of man tailored little um shoe, although still quite feminine. This is a new style for winter. It's called Style Peaky. Oh, here we go. Thanks, Annie. Our little courier ran out the back to show you the other colourway. So this is Tell Me in the Ivory. Uh, and you can see that contrasting beautifully with um, more of a gum tone um, and through the heel and so well. Yeah, it would actually yeah. with your rust top that you've got on. Uh, so yeah, you can just see the toe shape there a little bit more. So that's the other alternate colourway in the Tell Me shoe we've just shown you. Uh, so if you want to come down a level in height, or just to compare the heel heights there, if you want to come down and heel level in height because you're having to move real fast in the office, um, this is a really smart, dressy sort of um, lace-up shoe. 
What I like about this is um, we've used a really subtle lizardy crocodile uh, printed uh, oiled leather. So it's got like a bit of a sheen and a shimmer to it. It's got the overlay emboss of pattern on it, which is lovely. You've got a really nice, fine waxed lace, round corded wax lace on that, which is gorgeous. Uh, again, you could sub it out, but I don't think you need to because I think it's such a minimal style that the style kind of does its talking. And it really... When you see it off the shelf, you're like, oh, yeah. But when you see it on, it kind of comes to life. So if we get you to just drop your trouser there, and you kind of see that look of it just um, just kind of poking through the front there. It's just so cool. Right, I'm going to show you the other colorway in it, because I know you want to know what other colors it comes in. Uh, and look at this. Look at the pewter. So beautiful. Again, we could have thrown this on with Renee's outfit. Um, I, what I like about this is that we've lined it all in black and the actual base crust leather of this uh, pewter is black. So when you see the raw edges of this leather, you get that little, it almost highlights the cut pattern and design of the shoe. Just kind of pops it out. We've got the lovely, it's paired back there with the lovely black waxed uh, round corded laces and, um, and, you're, and highlighted again by the sole and heel there being in a, in a polished black, which is really lovely. So for those ladies who are going back into the office, who are struggling to get their corporate look back on track, this could be a nice little alternative for you to have a little look at. Um, yeah, it is. It, they are really, it's a beautiful, comfortable last. And there's also a slip-on. If you don't like laces, ladies, there is a slip-on version of this shoe as well online. Um, so let us know if you want yeah. to see that as well. I think we um, might do a little, little thing on them. Next yeah, time. I think yeah. yeah. Renee and uh, Ella and Caitlin were talking mm. about uh, corporate wardrobe. Is anyone interested in actually, you know, some advice mm. or tips and tricks on corporate yeah. wardrobe, like what we'd advise to maybe mm. wear or try for um, this winter? So yes. also while Renee's standing in front of us, looking like little Miss Corporate, <laughs> oh, uh, the <laughs> new one's looking for a lawyer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't come to Renee. <laughs> <laughs> don't come to me. It will be, don't come to me either. Oh my gosh. Um, and so, so what Renee's got on under there is the essential chiffon shirt. So you remember these were a big hit last winter. Uh, we've got a repeat in at the end of the season. This is the beautiful rust colour. It's a really, really yeah. nice colour because it's not, um, it's not so neutral and subtle that it doesn't suit everyone if that makes sense so sometimes when you've got these colors these tones of colors against your skin they can be a bit washing out but this is a nice bright rust color um, which looks gorgeous mm. on most women actually to be honest and it goes with quite a few of our shoes yeah yeah mm. yeah yeah, so yeah. it beautiful. just brings in mm. some of those neutral tones mm. a bit more easily into your dress and it looks great black, back mm. with black so mm. you don't have to wear like a oatmeal or a um you know a neutral color back with it it does look really good with mm. black um so yeah so we're just highlighting um the outfit today the French Soul A-Line, I think Ella's going to send a little bit of a mail out for you just explaining that this um, this was uh, 279 mm -hmm. down to just under 200 um, so at 199 which is pretty good value really for just a little kind of yeah. jacket, like mm. a little, um, it was sort of almost a like a jacket. blade, a, sh a shacket. It is almost a shacket, yeah. A shacket. A shirt jacket. God, you've got to be careful okay. saying that real fast. Yeah. <laughs> Got myself a new jacket. jacket. <laughs> the jeans on the one day I don't wear my jeans. Yeah. You could definitely do, you know, your little shirt and, or yeah. a tee, this, yeah. Yeah, with the jeans. Mm. Maybe you should wear jeans tomorrow. We can show the ladies yeah. what it looks like. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Uh, yeah. Jackie said, how high is the heel in the Tell Me Court shoe, please? Uh, yeah. I'm going to guess it. Just one moment. Just one moment, Paula. I'm just mm. going to grab And Serena young. said, would look cute with velvet or chiffon laces with a skirt or yes. dress. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, right, the tell me heel. Uh, here we go. Here's my roll. Oh, it's not that big. Um, so I'm just going to go like this so you can see. It's around about six and a half. So we say like the ultimate everyday heel height is about six if you're going to wear a heel. And I mean, if you take a little bit of the. It's about, uh, two, about a centimetre and a half. Um, front part to the sole there so you're actually it's almost the ultimate heel height to wear for all day mm -hmm. so yeah it's not too high perfect do you, want to, do you want to know the height of the other one the peaky why not should we oh, grab the sorry. peaky as well we go. i actually don't have my glasses on ladies which is why i'm going like this at the at the <laughs> uh so the little peaky heel height is that 
it's four centimetres high um, and through the back there. So that's just a really easy one to wear all day. Um, well, that's kind of a rubber outside on that. It's nice. Mm. It's a soft day. I think visually too, once I yeah. put these on, everyone sort of would think that they're quite narrow. But yeah. to be honest, I've got so much room in there. Yeah. It's so it nice. Oh, what size are you oh, wearing in both? 41. 41, 41, 41, 41. So that's 41. definitely a good yep. 41. I, look at this. I love this. I love mm -hmm. the bit of oh, the ankle yeah. and skin and then pant. Uh, like a, That's very cool like that. Mm. And there are a few of those sort of... Well, we actually designed one. I don't know if we're getting it, are we? Oh, it got cancelled, didn't it? it. Yeah. yeah, we did design a really cool little flared pant oh for gosh, winter. So cool. Yeah, so cool. Yeah, we've had issues with just getting materials and things like that lately, so we ended up having to cancel it, which is heartbreaking. But it was that really cool length. Uh, tight in here, little tight, a uh, little bit of a pop of flare at the bottom. So you've got that little bit of ankle and then the, and then the lace up shoe. Uh, have you got any more questions this morning? Oh, everyone's been so quiet. Yeah, they have. I think we're just the noisy ones. Yeah. What was that, what was that Nate? Everyone's back at work. Everyone's back at work, <laughs> I know. Everyone's in the office, beavering away, keeping the economy going. Uh, okay, so that was our little special of the day. Like I said, Ella's going to send you out a little bit of a mail out about it. So you've got a few more details on our shack it. If that's a new thing. And if you um, even if you'd like to be added to the mail out list, just pop your email in the comments below and we can add yeah, it on. That's a good idea. Yeah, so for those ladies who aren't aware, we do like uh, a direct EDM um, mail out on certain little um, yeah, like sale items or information about new product coming out and things like that. So uh, it's just a little mail trip that we send out. Um, or you may already be hooked up. And you also get updates plan. on our lives as well every week. Yes. Yes, so if you miss the lives, um, that's right, we have an automated system. It's not the best graphically looking email out, to be honest, but what it does is it, it automatically collects all of the lives that we've done for the week, sends it to you on a Friday night, and so, you know, if you're having a cuppa in the morning in bed, whoever does that, whoever's lucky enough to do that, then you can sit there and just kind of ramble through our crazy lives and catch up on what we've been up to this last week. Mm. Uh, and it just automatically comes out on a Friday. And that's part of if you join up to the just the mailing list thing. Yep. Of course, if you don't enjoy it and you don't want to and you have to unsubscribe, we will be heartbroken, but we do understand because we all have busy lives and get lots of things in our inboxes. So you can uns unsubscribe at any moment. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, people are starting to leave the emails, which is good. Oh, fantastic. Oh, that's good. Fantastic. Mm. Nice one, Ella. All right. Uh, thanks ladies, thanks for tuning in. Um, look forward to um, hearing your comments about what you think about the Shackett concept. Mm. And um, yeah, we'll catch up with you tomorrow. Bye! Bye.